shall have destroyed Carthage. Every man, woman, and child, many years ago. Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Total War Room 2 The Julia Campaign. So in the last session we took our legions and we smashed the Arverni pretty much to their last man. Well, to their last settlement at least. Here they are, holed up in Berdigala, having lost Lemonum, Cenobum, Bibract and all the rest. Due to their foolishness by attacking our defensive allies. Now they wanting a peace. They're wanting a non aggression pact. They're wanting a truce. They're wanting you know, they're wanting to survive. <laughs> and we're just gonna basically laugh in their face and kick them down. <laughs> Why don't a man get up? Why don't you just keep kicking him down and kicking him down. Oh dear, right. <laughs> a bit violent for the morning. Uh, right, uh, so the aim of this session is to uh well it is to uh, juggle a few things, because we have uh, swept through this land fairly swiftly, which means that we've got to not only a few units behind our lines, which is not a major issue, because we, our settlements are now decently garrisoned uh, with um, the garrison forces, but uh, we have public order issues. You see here in Aquitania, of course they have Birdie Gala, but that's about to go up in revolt. We have the province of Celtica, that's going to go up in arms very shortly. And Visontia, currently in the province of Germania Minor, due to the military presence of this chappy, uh, they're just about surviving. So, um, but they've already had one bunch of rebellion, pretty much people heading out into a rebel army. Um, so, uh, if we take him out, they will then go down to minus eight per turn. So this is by no means uh, stable. But we are waiting for a couple of upgrades to public order with a new temple and a new gladiator school. So, uh, yeah, the aim of today's session, take down and eradicate the Averni once and for all, and then gain some stability within this region. And once we have gained stability here, we are happy that we can take care of things with one defensive legion. It's mission. Turn to Rome. Have a triumph, promote a few people, and then pick our next destination for our next war target. Britannia, Iberia, Africa, the choices are plentiful. So that's the goal. Just off camera, the usual charade with the building works. I'm not doing it all off camera because uh, the, the larger the empire becomes, the more tedious it is to do it on camera. It just takes up too much time, I feel now. So uh, I just do it off camera and just quickly whiz through it at the start of each session. That's what I've done. Uh, what have I done here? I've built nothing. I think the focus for me now is to try and build up the food reserves. So I've been focusing on, on buildings that increase food. So uh, nothing there. Nothing there. In Magna Gratia, I've gone for an upgrade to my town. This is going to be the first upgrade to level 3. Um, cost minus 4 public order, but does increase food, does increase growth, and does increase agriculture uh, wealth, which is great because we have plenty of farms here, so that's, that's marvellous. So that's the first upgrade to the to the new town. So Sulpina gets uh, an upgrade to its farm. So that's the first farm upgrade to increase our food reserves. Aquitania is in, currently is, is in disarray, so we'll just forget that for now. Um, Rete Ignoricum is getting irrigation ditches as well, so some more food upgrades there. These two are already building, and this is a newly co conquered area. So uh, we we'll just need to keep an eye on that during the session. Uh, here we are building another upgrade to the town level 3. Gives us some extra food, wealth from maritime commerce, and uh, extra flute, uh, fleet recruitment capacity, should we require that. Harris Senior gets, uh, again, a farm as well. You're getting the drift here. I'm also increasing the squalor, public order issue. Uh, so I'm going to try to get my first sanitation building in here. And this is a fountains to give us Latin cultural influence. I assumed we were struggling at Latin culture influence. Yes, we are a little bit low, so a bit extra extra culture change there to go with uh, 
the uh, public order per turn bonus that we'll get, which may allow us to increase some of these other buildings. Uh, Germania Minor, Germania, Germania Minor. It's a bit of a, a bit of a tongue twister, really. Um, Grove of Nymphs to increase the public order to assist with uh, trying to pacify the province. Um, and, and of course the gladiator school as well. And then we've got Africa all down here on their lonesome. The general Baronius Saturnius, the head of House Cornelia. He's uh, knocking on a bit in age. He's, uh, he's 58 but with a massive gravitas score of 121. He's a very, very influential person. Just a pity his party doesn't have the majority of the Senate like it used to do in the good old days under Scipio's watch, isn't it? So, uh, that's the situation on the campaign map of the buildings. Also, I think we were almost we were done with the movements of the characters. The building work has been sorted. So all that is left for us to do is end the turn and enjoy the rest of today's session. Between friends, the gift of gold is often taken to be a sign of deep affection and respect. The gift of gold. Yes, I do agree the gift of gold is marvellous. I've always I've taken a few gifts over my over my few years in charge here. But uh, for me to gift out 2,500 of my precious dinar for a defensive alliance with you? Somehow... Considering you're at war with so many people, um, I really don't want to be dragged into your walls right now. So, uh, apologies, but uh, I'll have to friendly, uh, friendly decline. You know, nothing, nothing against you. Just, it's not quite right for us at the moment. We're fighting a war, and it's just too much. You know, too much to be defending all and sundry. Okay, so the uh, Arverni are doing a bit of a dance. The ships are coming here. The ships are going there. The units are moving here, the units are moving there. Ultimately, they're not going to stray far from their final settlement. We could actually be really tactical and wait for them to move out their troops and strike when they're weakest. And then the phone rings! <laughs> Stay with me. Okay, sorry about that. Disturbances in the force, you know. Right, <laughs> uh, 4,500 they won for a defensive alliance. <sighs> I'm not going to accept from Sparta, I'm certainly not going to accept from you. <laughs> Especially not for that price. You think we are made of money? Well, yeah, we're quite rich, I agree, but that's a different matter anyway. We don't want the whole world knowing our true fortune. Ah! A token, perhaps a modest gift of coin, would have my people see you in a new light. I don't care if your people see me in a new light, if they see me in new darkness, to be perfectly frank with you. I don't want to pay you for an non-aggression pact. If you want a non-aggression pact with Rome, you take it for free. Otherwise, up yours. I mean, I'm in one of those moods this morning. I've got out of bed and I'm feeling a bit chipper. Join war and against the Iceni. Cut a few throats. Oh, why? These people need death. Why? They would welcome it at your hands. <gasps> why do you ask me these questions? You are my clan state. I should be. I should be. I sh should be. Strange sound. Sorry. I, I I should be willing and able and 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 looking forward to joining your wars. I really should be. Yes, I shall help you. I'll crush down these Iceni dogs. Together we shall be victorious in Britannia. But no, I'm too busy. Sorry, guys. I fear my ancestors and. Anyway, they started. Did they start the war? Have spoken, and they part. have named you as true friends. Do we dare ignore the other world? <laughs> Shall we switch it? Shall we switch it over? No. Oh, why does it jump from like naught to two thousand? Why? Why can't we input our own amount here? That's one thing that bugs me about this. You could do it in previous games. Why can't you do it in this one? Yeah. Look, offer payment. Or maybe we can. No, we can't. Yeah, no, it's gone to 2005 now. <laughs> okay. Oh, bloody hell. Right, okay. So, non aggression pact with the Treveri. Treveri. Treveri I. Tre whatever. Um, so, hi. Why did they ask for money in the first place? Why? Right, so not, we've got a non aggression well, pact with these but people. Can you drink and feast as cleverly to seal our bargain? We shall see. No, ideally we could. Well, I say ideally. Splitting hairs, but. Uh, 
obviously these these people need to be taken down it would be nice if we could get the Treveri to be our client state so what I'm thinking is if once we have taken care of this little issue down here with uh, the Arverni and, and, and pacifying the province here if we can manage to uh, capture this land and donate it to the Treveri in exchange for their client state status that would be something I would be willing to do it just gives us one less to worry about you know one less province to mess about with and uh, yeah, that would be quite a quite a little a little uh, bit of business, really. We don't have any foothold in this province, so we have no reason to to uh, to be to be majorly upset with giving it away. If we're going to gain two towards our goal in the long run, but we'll see what happens. Right, rebellion in Lemonum, What a shock! And in Celtica, even worse. Oh my God, two rebellions in the same turn. <sighs> And raiding as well. They are raiding. Ah, so this is the one drawback allowing little piddly armies to roam free without uh, being taken down. Is that they raid and raiding is really bad <clears throat> for your public order. Minus twenty per turn. Minus forty because there's two lots of it going on. Oh, oh, oh dear. We need to take the Avenue down quick. <clears throat> Population surplus. Magna Gratia. Okay, a couple of buildings have been constructed, the farm, the food surplus increases, and, uh, okay, right, so what have we got here? We've got Vesontia, the Vesontians, they're happy, 11 per turn, it's increasing, <clears throat> that's fine. Here we have one more turn until all hell breaks loose. Somehow, I don't think him coming down here is really gonna really gonna make too much of a difference. Three more turns. What we could really do with getting rid of these guys in here. And who's he? Oh, he's the rebels. The rebels have risen up. Where's the other set of rebels rising? All those two rebellions to worry about. Celtic, I said, didn't it? Where's Celtica? Hello? There. Bebrecht and Cenobum. Cenobum. Okay. Right. Well, this place isn't as needy for public order issues right now, so we're just going to fly down here. Um, are we still on Force March? We are. But it's still going to take two turns to get there. So we'll fly him down. As quick as he can go. Oh, he can, oh, that's fine, he can get in there. Ready for orders. In the next turn, he could take down some of these pesky pesky people, if they're still there. Visontia only goes down to minus one per turn. That's absolutely marvellous, because uh, as soon as these are built, this should be stabilised completely, this province. So we're happy now that Germania Minor is, is under our control, so that's one less headache to worry about. Garrisons, they're fine. Right, lovely. And when we have a non-aggression with these people here, so we don't have to be overly concerned about being attacked uh, at these weak points. So we're happy now with that. So it just leaves us with two provinces then. So Celtica, minus 15. Still, his presence is not enough to prevent a rebellion from cracking out in the next turn. Um, what do we do? What on earth do we do? Lemonum and Nemosis. We can build, we can build, we can build in Aquitania. Um, what do we build? That's a good question. Do we focus on another bit of public order here? I think we might as well. We might as well indeed. Right, okay. So more public order buildings in the form of a temple. Do we let the rebels linger for a turn or two until we can uh, crush them into the dust? Just let the... Uh, public order stabilize a little bit whilst the people join the rebellion. Here we have an army very close to our ranks and uh, we don't want that to get down to here and give them even more troops so uh, I think we're going to take that down with Sanguine, auto resolve. Should be quick and easy. Should be quick and easy and did you see that? Hidden army? Jesus wept. Oof! Violent blow! Glory be to 
Roma. Yeah, here it is. Oh, it's a, I thought this was a rebel army. It's not. It's, it's the, our neighbors. Menamnetes. Hello. How do you do? Just admiring the view, are you? Uh, well, good. I was merely admiring it too. Just getting rid of a few peskies, a few bits of vermin along the way. There's vermin in these here woods. Anyway, minus 50. Oh, it's still gonna rebel, isn't it? It's no use. No use, not ornament, as they say. So, uh, what do we do? Do we leave them one more turn? I think we should. Then strike them down. Then take it from there. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So, building work then. Um, in terms of the problem areas, I think we're pretty much done. News has been looked at. No. Oh, Legio Sanguine, ready to upgrade. It's, uh, oh, it's our friend Fasenius Calvus the Madman. What shall we give you? Ooh, looting? We don't do much of that. Dread? Oh, a dreaded lunatic warrior. That sounds like good. That sounds good to me. Public order from local province. That's actually quite handy when pacifying, but no. No. I think... We're going to give him dread. He's dreaded. <laughs> He's unhinged, <laughs> battle-hardened, and dreaded. What a combination of uh, traits for this man. I'm trying to trying to picture him in my mind's eye, what kind of guy he would be. So unhinged that he'd order the rape and pillage of a village just in the blink of an eye. <laughs> you know... People don't. Sometimes he's happy. Sometimes he's completely furious. You know, just this, this, this personality change. But there's no denying the fact that, despite his insaneness, as soon as he gets onto the field of battle, he's an animal. That's the kind of guy this Vesenius Calvus is. A unique character indeed. Right. I think we're going to end the turn here. Slave Uprising, we've seen that video mode already. And the Averni pull out, now would be a perfect time. Perfect to strike down, oh no, they're coming back. Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake. There's no getting around the fact that there's going to have to be a big battle for this settlement. <laughs> but I really didn't think that we would struggle so much to quell this situation. I really didn't. Don't worry. Patience. Patience is the key. You know, I took so many settlements in the last uh, se the last session. I took enough settlements in one session that I usually take in about three, so uh, that gives me two sessions to stabilise and it'll even itself out. The Sazerly are pretty mighty now. If we go to war with them, it's going to be... Oh! Looks like the Namnates are taking care of some rebels for me. That's very kind of them. The slaves are coming. In fact, the slaves were walking towards one of my settlements. Oh! It looks as if our good Ready friends, Legio Potestus, might have themselves a wee bit of fun.